Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's really exciting to, to get this honor. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into one particular piece that I'm using the resources for. Uh, and, and I think it'll give you a glimpse into the overall nature of the work that I've been up to, along with some students here. So first thing is, um, I call... I, Dick said I get to call it what I want, so I call it the Sociometrics, Foundation Chair of Sociometrics. So the idea is you've heard of psychometrics or maybe econometrics, which uh, econometrics would be economists who study technical work, uh, statistics. So this is somebody who studies uh, the uh, quantitative techniques for studying effects of a non-social context. I'm really a sociologist uh, by discipline, uh, and so, so sociometrics is what I put in there. When I think about the use of the resources, uh, you know, I haven't uh, fully processed or digested the possibilities yet, but one of the things I really wanted to do is to support good students. Uh, and, and so I'm doing that um, with one student uh, uh, to model social dynamics in a very simulated way. Well, I wasn't going to take into that here. Um, and then I've been working with um, uh, two postdocs, former students and a current student, Sarah, John, and Caitlin, um, on the Constitution for Effective School Governance. And so I'm going to take you into that in just a moment. I've also thought about developing some software uh, uh, to make things more accessible. And this will all lead to articles, uh, outreach, and I think you'll see that side, and, and future grants. Um, uh, we definitely have that in mind, but you can't do that until you've done some preliminary work. So the idea is competition or teamwork, teacher evaluation in the broader context of school governance, and I'm going to take you into my ideas about school governance. I've got the, the hot links here, and Caitlin and John and Sarah, you can talk to them afterwards. They've got some materials if you want to talk to them more, uh, so I've listed them here. So basically, um, start with, with the Michigan State all-time leading men's basketball scorers. And there's a name that's absent on here. These are statues outside one of the buildings. Yeah, yeah it's Magic Johnson. 77-78, he only scores 17 points a game. So I guess, uh, where's his value added? You know, I guess, I guess I don't want him on my team because he's not the top scorer. And we would say, well, wait a minute. He, he was great. It makes you rethink the idea of value added. And what was it about Magic Johnson is that he passed the ball. He made everybody else on his team better. Right? And so that's why, I mean, I, I maintain that I think I could have scored a bucket if he had been on my team. I just <laughs> hang out under the basket and throw it in when he passes it to my hands, right? So what is it about the Magic Johnson effect? Well, collaboration is key uh, in nearly all industries. It's really important in education. And what we're trying to do with this work is to get people thinking not in terms of value added or accountability or market and choice, which are all very economic metaphors but instead to think about a teamwork metaphor. Um, and, what could and in particular, if you think about teachers, what could they do? They could assign colleagues promising students, they could provide support, give curricular materials. There's a whole bunch of things that a most valuable teacher could do that doesn't show up in her value-added score. And so we want to promote those things. So um, the question is, how do you promote them? And, uh, the idea that I came up with a few years ago is to have a constitution for effective school governance. The idea is to set up a, a small set of rules, five or six, that would create the conditions that would facilitate collaboration among teachers. So one is, no school-wide reform or change in policy or practice could be implemented unless the principal and two-thirds of the teachers vote for it. So now you don't get five teachers doing this and five teachers doing that, fighting for resources, competing for each other, teaching kids in different ways. They gotta get on the same page. Second one is, you can't evaluate the effects of any new policy or practice uh, and, st and standardized tests for three years. It's the same thing as, as putting high pressure on a rookie coach or something, it's, you can't do that. You gotta give time for things to develop. And with too much pressure on standardized tests in the short term, they won't work together. This gives time to te teachers time to collaborate. The third is that the school should have a council through which they would work with the community. Uh, so the point here is we don't want the community to be talking to this teacher and talking to that teacher, pulling them in different directions. Let's have a council, funnel the communication through the council. 
These two are very controversial. Um, one is a principal could remove a small percentage of teachers using a streamlined procedure without the union pushing for a grievance or supporting a grievance. So that sounds really rough. On the other hand, if 20% of the teachers put in for leave or sign a petition, the principal would be evaluated. So if the principal's arbitrary and capricious, 10 friends stand up and now the principal's in trouble. What we think this would do is it would allow the teachers to identify the weakest colleagues with whom they are not comfortable teaching and take a pass on those. And everyone else they would probably stand up for. And so again, it would encourage collaboration. Uh, and the last one is, is letting the council uh, uh, adjudicate between the principal uh, uh, and the teachers. So that's basically it. That's the idea. We're taking this out there. Tomorrow I'm meeting with the uh, Oakland ISD. Uh, on Friday, Caitlin is meeting with the MASA, uh, Michigan Association of Secondary Administrators. Hey, I got it right. Hey, thank you. Um, uh, and we uh, are getting on the docket for the state superintendent, um, uh, Brian Whiston. We've already spoke at length with uh, the former superintendent, Mike Flanagan. So we're getting a lot of traction. Uh, we're hoping schools will try this soon. And that's what the idea is about. Uh, that's what we're putting the money into, the resources for the moment. Um, if you want to talk to any of us when, afterwards, uh, you can talk to the three of them or myself. Thank you.